Hey, I'm Fred Minnick, and this week's hot take, I'm telling you all about one little bitty thing on the label that if you don't see it, you don't buy it. Giddy up. So if you do not see the state of distillation on a bottle of whiskey, do not buy it. Because what's happening is the bottler is trying to deceive you as to where the whiskey has come from. The state of distillation is a federal law that was put on the books in the 1930s. It came about because whiskey distillers at the time did not have a lot of stocks after prohibition. So they had to have a state of distillation clause because brands that would be typically bottled in like Illinois, like 10 High, or in Kentucky, like Four Roses, that were actually typically straight bourbons were now blends. And there were also bourbons that were had whiskey in them from, uh, from states that normally did not, they didn't, the brands didn't normally come from. So people wanted a state of distillation so they could have a guarantee of where the whiskey was from. Fast forward to the modern age when there's not as much focus on the labeling uh, in the federal government and when uh, new blood is getting into the distilling game. An MGP, or formerly known as LDI, a former Seagram's plant, starts selling its whiskey on the open market and bottlers are taking those barrels and dumping them and creating their own brands with someone else's whiskey. There's nothing wrong with that. It's been a part of American whiskey history for a very, very long time. Where people get in trouble is when they do not tell you where it comes from. Now, some people can be caught up in an, in an NDA and you, they can't actually disclose to you where what distillery they got the whiskey from. That's fine. While I don't prefer that, I would much rather someone be able to tell me where the whiskey came from. You know, a contract is a contract. And if you get yourself in trouble in an, with an NDA, you're never going to be able to get whiskey again. So I respect that fact. But if you're trying to hide the state of distillation of where that whiskey was made, you will get fined, you, could, you will get sued, and in some cases, depending on how fraudulent you were, you could face jail time. So this is very, very important. You will see the state of distillation usually on the back label, but the words that they will use to kind of hide that, it'll say like made by, produced by, uh, bottled by, you actually need to see the word distilled. And if you do not see that word, walk away from the bottle because you are just adding to a campaign in whiskey that we've been trying to get rid of for decades. And it got really, really messy between 2008 and 2012 when there were all sorts of class action lawsuits against these brands who were not disclosing the state of distillation on their bottle. The most obvious case was Templeton Rye Whiskey. Templeton, Iowa is a very famous area during Prohibition. They were kind of filled with uh, moonshiners and outlaws who were making uh, whiskey and moonshine and notably a uh, rye whiskey. And they still make it there today, kind of in like the, you know, the hidden shadows. And you go into the graveyards and there's actually, there's actually um, tombstones that are affixed so you can hide whiskey in there. So they had like this whole scheme uh, throughout Prohibition to basically sell, hide and sell whiskey there. Now, fast forward to the modern era and you had a brand that you had people who started a brand there and named a whiskey after, after Templeton. And Templeton was a whiskey that came out of the gate. It was a rye whiskey. It was very good. It was coming from in Indiana. And it was uh, uh, excellent whiskey. They treated bartenders really well. Bartenders served their product and make, made cocktails with them. So if you're in two th 2010, you know, you're looking at Templeton Rye Whiskey as a whiskey on the rise. However, they failed to disclose their state of distillation. And they ended up getting themselves in trouble trying to pass off the fact that they were indeed making the whiskey themselves. That being said, they never said that to you in person. They would tell you in person that their whiskey was coming from Indiana. And I always found them to be very uh, forthcoming and truthful to me. 
you know, from a from a interview perspective, but they didn't put it on the label. And that's the one thing that will get brands in trouble is they don't put the state of distillation on the label. They're going to find themselves in court at some point, either up against, um, you know, federal authorities or against c civilians who are claiming uh, damages. And that, that's the irony of it all is that is anyone really damaged by you know, buying a bottle of whiskey that didn't have a state of distillation. I mean, I would question that. But at the end of the day, we're trying to, uh, you know, promote transparency in whiskey. So that is why I'm telling you, don't buy a bottle of whiskey unless you see where it is distilled. And it always helps when you know who distilled it. But that's going to do it for this week's hot take. If you want to see more hot takes, click the subscribe button and make sure that um, you're checking out some of my celebrity interviews and some of my tastings as well. Also, click the join button if you want to become a member and get some inside scoops from time to time. But that's going to do it. Be safe out there. No licking handrails, no licking trash cans. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers.